What's up guys, it's Steve, um, just finished up some parkour, uh, for those of you not familiar, it's pretty much freestyle running, so it's a lot like, I don't know, I guess people that do inline skating or skateboarding, but it's without the boards or the skates, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so I went to Alt Park in uh, Hyde Park and met with Matt who runs the Cincinnati Parkour Group. Um, you know, he taught us some techniques and some general moves you want to do when you're doing parkour. So yeah, uh, we started off with some stretching, uh, sort of like warm-up phase. The way that they did it, it was not like a warm-up phase. It was tough. Um, you know, they had us doing army crawls, these gorilla moves across the, this field out there, and just some jumping and sprints. It was pretty tiring. I'm not feeling so great. <laughs> It's a lot more of a workout than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so far we haven't jumped off anything. And that's what I thought it all was. I was wrong. We moved on to this section, sort of like a picnic area. It had picnic tables. There we kind of learned our first techniques. We're going to go over rolls real quick just to get you acquainted with those. Because if you actually happen to bail on one of these vaults, the roll will help you. I mastered the art of barrel rolls. It's sort of my thing, I guess. But um, it was cool, like we did vaults over the tables. <laughs> and then these like, you know, see how far you can jump, uh, stationary. So after we did this like picnic area, we went up to this sort of, I don't know, it looks like almost like a castle or a fort. And um, these guys went nuts. I had <laughs> never seen anything like it. It was like, a, I don't know, I guess like a monkey exhibit at the zoo. It was cool seeing all the guys that were, you know, been doing it a while, doing their thing out there. It was, uh, it was pretty impressive. I had a lot of fun. I'd love to do it again. And, um, you know, I guess if there's anything I can take away from it is parkour looks so easy because they're so graceful, but it is definitely one of the hardest cross-training things I've done so far. So, yeah. Anyways, stay tuned. Um, no, honestly, I don't even know what day it is, but... Um, I know it's a Thursday, and I just finished my run with Valerie. Um, we met in East Hyde Park and decided to do the Hyde Park Blast course. Uh, we just added on an extra quarter mile. Since I live in the area, it was just made sense. Basically, we started out in by like the UDF on Marburg. Um, we took Marburg and went up Erie. And then we went down by Paxton observatory back to Erie up Paxton and then back around by the, the Kroger I'd say the hardest hardest part was hand aside it's just like crazy steep incline I don't even know what grade it would be but probably like 30 or 40 degrees that was that was definitely one of the uh, the toughest runs. That was, was mentally discouraging. Um, I, I have serious doubts as to whether I can actually finish nine miles. This was only four miles in total, and it was brutal. It was seriously tough. The 14K is 8.7, and if I'm struggling this much with four miles, it's, um, I don't know, I guess I guess today was just kind of discouraging. You know, obviously, like, I'm not going to give up on this, but I don't know. And just kind of put things into perspective, and hopefully it was just an off day. And, you know, I'm going to keep moving forward, but today was just a little discouraging, I guess. Four and, a, four and a quarter miles. I have to double that. Did it in 45 minutes. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if I can even, like, the course is pretty much like what I just ran. It's twice that length. And I have a month to do that in.